House budget legislation provides up to $501,800,000 to fund the development of the second mobile launch platform for the SLS rocket in 2024 alone. Remember how the mobile launcher was originally supposed to cost $383 million? Well, if this funding goes through, it'll push the money allocated to date to nearly $1 billion, 10 times more than Starship's Mechazilla launch tower. That is incredible. That's insane. This even shocked Elon Musk, the world's richest billionaire and also the founder of SpaceX. Stay tuned as we dive into this and lots more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The project of NASA, the leading space agency in the U.S., never fail to disappoint us with the huge amounts of money they pour into them. The highlight that we often talk about is the non-reusable moon rocket, SLS. With an initial estimated cost of $1 billion U.S. dollars per launch, the SLS has always been an expensive rocket. However, with new estimates, the cost per launch of the SLS has increased to $2 billion U.S. dollars, $3 billion U.S. dollars, and currently stands at $4.1 billion U.S. dollars, with no signs of stopping for future missions. Not only has the cost of the rocket skyrocketed, but the amount NASA is spending to build a new launch tower for the new SLS rocket has also become larger than ever before. This new mobile launch platform will support future crewed missions under Artemis, and it is even larger than all the platforms NASA currently uses. In 2019, NASA awarded an additional cost plus contract to the engineering company Bechtel to design and build a large mobile launch tower. The 118 meter tower will facilitate fueling and launching a larger and more capable version of NASA's Space Launch System rocket. When Bechtel secured the contract for the Mobile Launcher 2, it was reportedly priced at 383 million US dollars, with an initial completion target in the spring of 2023. However, cost increases and design delays extending into 2022 led NASA's Office of Inspector General to review the program. According to a scathing year-end report from NASA's Inspector General, the project is significantly behind schedule. The launcher's weight exceeds specifications, and the overall cost has soared to hundreds of millions of dollars over budget. The latest cost estimate for the project is $960 million, two and a half times the initial plan. For this price, even the richest man in the world, Elon Musk, also said, seems pricey. The delivery is officially delayed until October 2025. But the audit indicates that even by that time, it might not be achievable, possibly taking even longer. We expect further cost increases as inevitable technical challenges arrive when ML2 construction begins, the audit reads. Given the time NASA requires for additional testing once the structure is delivered, the earliest the ML2 will be available for Artemis IV is November 2026. Wow. So, what's the reason behind this? NASA awarded the contract to Bechtel before the specifications for the Space Launch System rocket's upper stage were finalized. The major upgrade to the rocket will come via a more powerful second stage, known as the Exploration Upper Stage, or EUS. The lack of final requirements to accommodate the EUS hindered the design of the mobile launch tower, which must power and fuel the rocket on the ground. NASA's explanation for doing this is that it had no choice but to move forward with the tower's design and construction to meet a timeline for its lunar missions. The first three flights of the Artemis program, culminating in a human lander rocket no earlier than 2025, are to fly on the initial variant of the Space Launch System rocket, which has its own, separate mobile launch tower. However, beginning with the Artemis IV mission, NASA wants to launch lunar missions on the more powerful upgraded version of the SLS rocket which will require the new mobile launch tower. Normally, this mission is planned for 2026, but realistically, it's not going to fly before 2027 or 28 due to delays in the earlier Artemis flights. Nevertheless, NASA pressed for the construction of the second mobile launch tower to be ready for 2026 and asked for design work to be done on the tower before the rocket's final requirements were known. This is likely to result in additional costs, pushing the price of the second mobile launch tower above a billion dollars. This has left even NASA Administrator Bill Nelson thoroughly disappointed. They couldn't perform and NASA is stuck. But this is not the only launch tower where NASA's a drain on resources. Their first launch tower, ML-1, also has a similar history of overcosts and delays of up to years. NASA's first SLS rocket launch tower, known as Mobile Launcher 1, indeed comes with a hefty price tag. It's priced at at least $927 million. 
This amount includes the initial development cost of $234 million to build the tower to support the Ares-1 rocket. After the cancellation of the Ares-1 rocket in 2010, NASA then spent an additional $693 million to redesign and modify the structure for the SLS rocket. It's worth noting that NASA's initial estimate for modifying the launch tower was only $54 million, but they consistently ended up with figures many times higher later on. In the end, Mobile Launcher 1 supports the 350-foot-tall SLS rocket, providing access to the Orion spacecraft and supplying power, communication, cooling, and fuel for the completed rocket. However, everything wasn't smooth sailing when it came to this first launch tower as it experienced a notable tilt. While there was no official announcement about this, it's likely just a cover-up for NASA's misstep in choosing the construction contractor Vencore. NASA accepted unproven and untested designs from Vencore to expedite the construction and manufacturing contracts. Agency staff noted that sometimes they were aware that subsystem designs were incomplete or needed further testing, but they still advanced them because project timelines required it for manufacturing and construction activities to proceed. Fortunately, everything related to the launch tower is operating normally, but it doesn't rule out the possibility of encountering issues at any time. Up until now, ML-1 has successfully served the SLS launch mission at the end of 2022 and has undergone significant repairs. In recent months, it had continued to be tested and improved in preparation for reuse on the Artemis II flight planned for next year, which will be the first crewed mission. However, the ongoing issue of the tilted tower raises concerns about the safety of the launch tower more than ever. During this period, Bechtel National Incorporated, the contractor responsible for assembling NASA's second mobile launch tower, has just begun assembling the first steel pieces at Kennedy Space Center. It seems uncertain whether Bechtel can meet NASA's delivery schedule, but delays are entirely foreseeable. While NASA is still grappling with a mess of their $2 billion launch towers, SpaceX is gearing up to stack the third launch tower for Starship over at Starbase. Through Starbase, SpaceX has already demonstrated the ability to stack a Starship launch tower from its unoccupied concrete base to its final height of approximately 145 meters in about two months flat. Even though SpaceX will have to transport the tower components from Florida to Texas, there's no reason to believe that the third Starship launch tower in Starbase won't be stacked up at least relatively quickly. In fact, SpaceX has already shipped seven parts of the tower over to Starbase. The area is prepared for the new tower, and all changes are clearly planned. The new Starship launch tower promises to be built faster than ever because SpaceX has gained a lot of experience in prior constructions. Moreover, the tower is cost-effective, costing only a fraction of the amount of $1 million NASA poured into constructing its launch tower, which has been used no more than four times. SpaceX ultimately aims to have a number of launch towers similar to the number of super heavy boosters. To achieve this, they have many tasks ahead. It's crucial for Starship to achieve orbit, and the relentless efforts of SpaceX's company always shine through. That's all for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you to watch. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.